Hi, this is Phil Chandler, and today I'm going to show you how the frame for the quadratic hive is assembled. This is the basic frame for the quadratic hive. And as you can see, it's made up from a wooden strip, this piece. This is the top bar. This is, I think it's something like 20 mil by 9. I shall check that and put a note at the bottom if necessary. Um, 20 or 21 millimeters, I seem to remember, and uh, it's held together with the metal part with these little white spaces. These are nominally 38 millimeters. They actually turn out to be something like 37, 37 and a half millimeters, but that's fine. So the metal frame is made from, in this case, galvanized steel strapping. Now there are there are different types of this stuff, different patterns, different stamp patterns. This particular one um, is the one I favour because it happens to be uh, laid out such that the bends, I ho hope you can see this, I'll hold it fairly close to the camera, the, the bend uh, here and here occurs directly on a pair of small holes. Okay, so this particular pattern that it has um, a square hole, a pair of small holes, a round hole, a pair of small holes, and back to a square hole. So that's the pattern throughout. If you can get hold of this particular pattern, it works very well. Uh, there are other types. There's one type which I really don't like, which just has um, a single set of round holes down the middle, um, which really isn't good. It's, it's too thick, um, it's too hard to cut, and uh, the holes don't really match up very well with the way they're supposed to be bent. Now this particular one, um, it goes, the pattern is, um, uh, so there's a, there's a big hole here, so there's a right angle bend there, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six big holes, and then another bend at that corner, and then, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight big holes, and a bend at that corner. And that's the, uh, that's the way I've arranged it to work. Now, depending on which pattern of this stuff you get, you may have to adjust that slightly but what you're looking for of course is um, something that gives you the right dimension according to the uh, the top bar which is 210 millimeters or eight and a quarter inches in old money long and that is the distance between the sides the uh, the rebate sides of the um, of the hive which I'll show you in a second so these, these two pieces are held together using these white spaces, like so. So you just slip over the ends and they act as... They do two jobs at once. One is to hold the frame together and one is to space it correctly. So here we go. So that's how it goes together. And those spaces sit right at the extreme ends and they sit in the box. I'll show you that in a second. The next thing we have to do is to find a way of attaching some foundation to give them a starter strip because, um, I mean, you can not bother with this, you can just give them empty frames and a, a proportion of the time they will do just fine and they'll build, frame, they'll build comb inside the frames but sometimes they won't and really if you're using these for queen rearing you really want to be able to take these frames in and out very easily so it's worth spend, spending the time to get this bit right. Now there's two basic ways of doing that. I'm just going to adjust the camera now. Okay, so um, there are two ways of doing this, or actually there are probably a, a, a lot more ways of doing it than that, but these are the two ways that I've tried and they both work. Um, the first one relies on heat, so I'm going to use my little mini blow lamp here, chef's blow lamp, and what I do is just scorch the surface of the lower side of the top bar and I apply a piece of foundation. This is a quarter, no, it's actually less than that. It's a piece cut from a sheet of thin wireless uh, super foundation. Okay, so this is the stuff that you would be using for cut comb, for example. And there's enough heat in that scorched wood and you, hopefully you saw what I did then. I laid the I laid the sheet across the scorched part and then doubled it back. So now the wax is just cooling off again now, so it'll stand up on its own. I 
okay uh, it doesn't quite easily stand up on its own and this is the problem with this particular system it's not that secure I don't think it's it's easy to do but I, I'm not confident of the um, strength of that joint now I could reinforce it I could put I could melt some wax uh, and, uh, along this line here to reinforce it and that's probably the would be the way to go but let me just show you this other technique which I've developed which um, I actually like a bit better so here's another frame this technique requires a, an additional component which is a bamboo skewer this bamboo skewer is 180 I would say 188 millimeters long which makes it two millimeters shorter than the distance inside between the sides of the um, of the hive which is 190 millimeters in other words it's it fits inside the hive with just a, a couple of mil clearance and the reason for that is it's going to go if you can see what I'm doing here I'm putting the I'm putting the bamboo skewer into the topmost holes of the frame like so and that you'll see why in a second okay so I'm going to take that out again now I'm going to take another piece of foundation I'm going to put it roughly in the center Oh, something to mention perhaps when you're using foundation like this is that you need to cut the foundation uh, and hang it in the same way that it was intended to hang originally in other words with the points of the cells going up and down not from side to side okay so the points of the cell should be going up and down and then the bees um, will build comb on it quite happily so what I've done there is I've rolled it or I've rather I've rolled the the bamboo skewer are inside the wax right so it's now and I kind of press the wax onto it so that is pretty secure now that's pretty securely fitted to the bamboo and then I'm going to put the bamboo inside the frame hanging it from the uppermost pair of holes okay like that and that's how it's going to hang inside the hive and of course gravity will ensure that that hangs vertical and so it makes it important that your hive is leveled because well clearly you don't need me to explain what would happen if it isn't so that goes into the hive now at the moment hanging it just holding it in midair um, you know obviously this can fall out but in fact inside the hive and this is the reason for making it just fractionally shorter of the uh, of the width of the hive is that the sides of the hive will hold that skewer in place so if I drop that in place um, I can actually turn the hive um, on its side and that won't drop out I'm not about to do that but anyway you take word for it so there we go that's two different ways now if I go back to the original one this is the one with the wax melted onto it as it were slightly um, that's you know that's okay and and but I have occasionally had these come off and I, whether it's just like the weight of the bees or what you know sometimes it they do detach so if you're going to use this method of just kind of molding it onto the top bar I think it might be a good idea to reinforce it with some molten wax just run some molten wax down there both sides and that will hold it in place more securely but that's basically it so um, if I lift the camera you can see now that those frames sit nicely inside the box they're very secure the white spacers hold them in place and there's about uh, one to two millimeter gap at the end if you squash the um, frames together there's just enough gap so that you've got some clearance to lift the frame out so it's a pretty much a perfect fit uh, the reason that one's wobbling is because it's not quite in its holder but I'll deal with that right now so I'll just do the go through the bamboo skewer process once more just to be sure about that we'll reassemble this frame which is very easy just tuck that in there and at the other end tuck that in there okay and that's the frame assembled and then we take one of our pre-cut bamboo skewers a piece of foundation place the bamboo skewer so the foundation is roughly in the center it's not critical roll the wax over the top edge or 
hasn't really got an edge as it's round roll it, over, roll it around around the skewer roll the skewer down a little bit make sure that wax is nice securely pressed into itself make sure the cells are running point up and down and then we can fit that into the top holes of the frame like that that will hang vertically make sure your hive is level and all will be well it's quite quick to do um, and the great thing is really you only do it once or at least once for the lifetime of the cone that's going to be built on there um, but these frames these metal frames will uh, effectively last forever I guess you know they're, they're galvanized in fact I do use I have used um, stainless steel strapping which is another option stainless steel of course would would be the preferred choice I guess um, and it is uh, somewhat more expensive than the galvanized um, hard to say exactly how much more because the price of these seems to vary quite enormously when I say these I mean this metal strapping um, it used to cost me I used to better get a 10 meter reel of this um, for the equivalent of about a pound a meter uh, now it's more like well 15 to 18 pounds for a, for a 10 meter roll and I just discovered I can get 25 meter rolls somewhat more cheaply so that's the way to go if you're using this in bulk but this assembly system is quite easy to do it's quite secure and uh, the bees build very tidy comb if you put them together like that so that's the frame system for the quadratics um, what else should I say at this point um, you can use them vertically you know this and you can use them horizontally perhaps one little thing to notice is the entrance um, to these hives is centered well on mine it is anyway where you put your entrances is up to you but my entrances are centered because that means that they come in and there's a, a comb right in front of them the edge of the comb right in front of the entrance with a gap of course there's a bee space in there um, which means that well the way I think about it is that a cold draft blowing in here is going to be buffered against the end of that comb rather than whistling in between two combs uh, maybe it helps to keep them a little bit warm I don't know but that's my thinking about it anyway and that's about it for now more quadratic hive videos to come